Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting session and this time a new weekly painting and this time we are going to paint this um yeah this the guy that is hanging the this uh, this is from the um what's called this uh, course city okay and we are going to paint this guy uh, in, in quite a fast painting techniques and we will start using wildwood that is the paint that I'm looking now okay we are going to start applying wildwood on the wood okay so we are going to start from the top I will try to avoid the, the to paint the um, the rope okay so you want to avoid to to dirty the rope on the clothes or nails or this type of rivets I don't care because they will go in metallic later on so we are going to paint them again we are looking here we are going to use techniques to have a fast paint job that will look good on the tabletop okay this is the main aim and we are going to use a lot of contrast because I like a lot of contrast I think they are great if you want to have fast tabletop paint things and they work perfectly um, with this type of tokens um, yeah I will say peripheral things that we have on the game sometimes <coughs> okay. so you can see very fast we have applied white wood on the wood okay ready and now we want to do this and it's done look at it very nice a great color and no yeah. try not to forget like me any part if you forget the part it's not going to be the end of the world either let's take now the next color as it is not in direct contact we can use the next color that is going to be a skeleton hole okay this one Get on hold and we are going to apply this on the skeleton of course you can see again we go for a fast painting that will look good on the table top. Okay. I'm going to do this it's, it's, it's a repetition of what we have done with the previous color and you want to avoid that this pulling too much okay, it's, called. it's indicating you where you have to go likely it's indicating you to where you are, have to go to die You can see this color is giving you a nice dirty bone color, okay? But at the end, I'm imagining these guys not to be clean bones, right? Because who have cleaned them? Nobody. Okay. You can see, you can remove some of the excess. Want to remove here the excess. Okay. You can, and you can put some additional here inside if you want it. The inside should be look dark. And you want to avoid that you have too much. Some know what I'm doing is I'm, I'm removing a little bit the excess. Where I think that is too much, and I am. I will add a little bit where I think I need a little bit of shade. Okay, like that. Then I'll remove that a little bit. So, just because it's the contrast does not mean that you cannot try to also point where you need to have more shadings. 
Sometimes it's going to be difficult because if there is a part that has a little bit of grease or any type of contamination, the paint will not go there easily. So um, sometimes you need to do some touch later on with regular paints. But here it looks quite good. I'm just no looking that I'm looking and having covering everything correctly. You can see we have a nice painted skeleton. Now we will wait at all this device and then back for the next step. So here we have the contrast paints have dried and now I'm going to use a Bimbley Brown to do some dry brushing on the wood. Okay. We'll do this before doing this this the rope. This is neatening the rope as well as before doing all the patchman that is there. So then we are going to go like that. Try not to touch the skeleton. Okay, we'll do like that. We're going to the other side. You want to give this one a look. Okay, like that is okay. Now we are going to get it comes to the taste of everyone, but in that case I will take right one and I'm going to dry brush on top of the skeleton. Let's take it, let's clean the brush. And we are going to go over. You don't need too much to be fair. Something like that is enough. Okay. Now we are going to go back to the contest paints. And we are going to use Avarus Dunes. We are going to do the, ro the rope. You don't want to accumulate too much in one part because you want the rope to look more on the yellow or ochre tone than really on the brown. A little bit darker than the bone. Okay, but something like that, it's okay. Agarus Dunes is a great color to the ropes. And is the rope, again, already have a texture. It's perfect. If 
perfect this is what we want to do I'm taking again skeleton hold and I will do the patchment why I have not done it before because I, I was concerned to dirty with the dry brushing so just in case I need to clean up it was not making sense to do the patchment before but now we can do it here we are we need to wait this device Okay, and then we have this little plant there oh, I will have it in, in the both sides so you can choose I will go in that case with again with snake by leather and I will do them that is the, these are dry plants or something like that okay so I keep everything quite earthy and using this one as well because I realize that they have a small mistake here so I will do this you can see just like that will be enough okay let's wait that the contours we have applied now are dry and I will be back for the next step so here we have now have the right thing. So I'm going to use the Rhinos height I have in my tablet, in my palette, sorry. And we're going to do some small writing there. When you do writing, you just try to make more than line, you want to do like different size dots or marks like that. Now I'm going to use iron breaker. We are going to do the nails. I'm going to use this cloud brown. So this all that cloud brown, any of this orangey, no, this one, this one here, to make a little bit of the oxidation. So it's. You just want to touch around, leaving some of the metal visible. Here well on, the, on the snail. And finally, I'm going to use Agua Air Shade. And we are going to do the snails, or the rivets, applying some Agua Air Shade on top. This will also create some additional shade and we can apply 
well, I will L shade on the rope to darken it a little bit to make it look older. And here we finalize. We have this hanging skeleton done for the Kurt city. So that's all. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. Please give a like if you have liked it. Share if you think other people can be interested as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.